So I just wanted to make a quick video today sharing with you guys what I have spent many hours over the last two or three days working on. I've really been working on cleaning up some of my suckless builds and trying to package them for the AUR, for the Arch User Repository, to make it easier for you guys to try out DWM, ST, D menu, whatever it happens to be. I'm going to try to get all my suckless builds up on my GitLab. They're already up on my GitLab, and you can pull them down from GitLab and build them yourself there. But I want to package them in the AUR just to make it much easier for you guys to get my builds. That way you can simply install it using an AUR helper such as Yay. Another project of mine that's been on my GitLab repository since the beginning is I have a shell color script repository over there. It's a collection of shell terminal color scripts, and I was really wanting to clean some of that stuff up and, you know, make it a little more fun. And let me show you what I've been doing here. Let me pull up my desktop. So this is DWM. This is my current build of DWM. You can see the bar at the top with the widgets here in the panel. And if I just open some stuff, let me open a few instances of ST. This is the master and stack mode. By the way, the color scripts that are appearing at random when I open ST. This is from my shell color scripts repository. I'll talk about that in just a second. But you can see master and stack mode is the default. Now I have patched DWM, my personal build of DWM, to include some other layouts such as uh, mod G gets me into a traditional grid layout where you can divide the window into even grids. Let me close some of those windows. If I do mod T, it will get me back into the master and stack layout. Mod M gets me into the monocle layout. And I believe mod F would get me into the floating layout. Yes, it does. Let me mod T to push everything back into master and stack. One of the other modifications I made, the patches that I added to DWM, I also patched it so that the new windows are always pushed to the stack rather than every new window becomes the master. Because in my workflow, at least, typically... I'll open something and it's the master and that's really my main program. Everything else is kind of secondary. So I always want that stuff to be pushed to the stack rather than the default behavior in DWM, which is, you know, every new window becomes the master. I don't like that. So I patched it for that functionality. I also patched it so that you can actually rotate something through the stack. I, that's standard behavior in every tiling window manager I've ever used, but DWM being a suckless utility, you actually have to patch DWM to have such basic functionality. So I've added, I don't know, five, six, seven patches to my DWM build, and I packaged it up and I put it in the AUR. By the way, I also packaged my ST build. These terminals are my ST terminals. And if I pull up my browser here, and go to GitLab slash DWT1, which is my GitLab page, you will see I have a couple of new repositories there. I have DWM-DistroTube and ST-DistroTube. I will eventually get my builds of DMenu up and maybe my build of the Surf Browser up as well. Also, you see I have this Shell Color Scripts repository. Let me open that up so you can see what that is. It is basically a collection of... Uh, these weren't anything that I personally wrote. Most of these I've collected over a number of years, going back many, many years. And th these are basically shell color scripts. So if I open one, such as the bat here, you can see exactly what it does. It just draws a bat on the screen in your terminal if you run that particular shell script. And what I have done is I have set this thing to run at random. Basically, when you install it, Add that line to your bash RC or your ZSHRC, and it will pick a random script to run every time. So it picked that at random. If I open another, it picked the same one at random. How lucky. And then it picked that one at random. Let me control C to stop that animation. And I will open up a few more. You can see some of the various ones I have here. Now you can, of course, install my DWM and ST builds through an AUR helper like Yay, if you actually went to my st-distrotube repository here, you will actually get the command here. Yay-st-distrotube-get is the actual name of that package. So if I opened a terminal and I did yay-st-distrotube-get and I hit enter, uh, it says I already have it installed on my system because I've already built it before. And I will just run it again. Perfectly safe to run again here. And 
it will install ST again with my root password. Let me close it and you see ST is still working. So it just reinstalls my build of ST. I could do the same thing. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing here. So if I did the same thing, except this time I do DWM dash distro tube dash get and I hit enter. Do I want to clean build any of these packages? Normally I wouldn't, but just for sake of this video, why not? Let's just see what happens. I don't want to read the diffs. It will tell me that I already have dwm-distrotube-get installed. And it will warn you if you already have dwm or st on the system when you build these, that there will be a conflict. So if you already have your own custom build of DWM or ST, you may want to back up your config because my config will overwrite yours. Anyway, uh, let me do a super shift R to restart DWM. And we restarted and you know, everything seems to be working just fine. All the key bindings are exactly the way I left them. Open up my surf browser, open up the terminal. Yeah, everything, everything's good. So if you guys are looking for my builds of DWM or ST, I've already got those up. Uh, I, again, I'm very new to packaging stuff for art, so my package builds, I may need to work on them a little bit, but they at least function. They installed just fine. They've installed just fine on my machine here, my main production machine. They installed fine on my laptops. I've played around with them in VMs. They installed just fine. No harm to your system. Just be sure to back up your current builds of DWM or ST, just in case you want to save them. Also, I, I should have mentioned this. Let me pull up a terminal here. I also package the shell color scripts. I mean, they're simple enough just to pull down from GitLab, but I did place those in the AUR too. So if you do yay, dash capital S, shell dash color, dash scripts, and hit enter. And uh, I've already got it on my system, so it may complain about it but it looks like it's just going to reinstall it just fine. All right, and then once you have that on your system, what you need to do is in your bash RC or in your ZSH RC, you need to add this line, slash opt slash shell color scripts slash random colors dash shell. That is a uh, basically a shell script that picks one of my shell color scripts at random to open when you open a terminal. So every time you open a terminal, you get a new script and there's a million of them. I, I forget how many scripts are in that repository, but I think about 50 or 60. Uh, I could be wrong about that. I should have done a count for you guys before I closed the terminal. So I just wanted to share a little bit of what has been occupying some of my free time the last few days, thanks to the uh, epidemic and the fact that everything is kind of closed down and we're all pretty much having to self quarantine. I'm taking this time to, you know, really learn some stuff, package some stuff up and, you know, some of the stuff I've been meaning to do for months and I'm just now finally getting around to doing it before I go. I need to thank a few special people. This show was made possible by Michael, Mitchell, Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of the show. These guys are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. The show is also brought to you by all these other names you are seeing on the screen right now. Each and every one of those ladies and gentlemen helps support my work over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, please do so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. Okay, guys. Peace.